Hello devices! How are you doing alright? Good. Uh, right, before we start with the comedy, some of you may have noticed I've got a little mark on my face. It's pretty subtle, I'm sure you'll agree. Just there. Now, what actually happened was I got kicked in the face playing football. Quite nasty, could have been a lot worse. Not a lot of comedy in there. Um, I thought I'd get quite a lot of sympathy. Jack, is it? be quite sympathetic towards that. It's a man's injury, isn't it, that? Yeah. I got home, my girlfriend said, you look hideous. I'm kidding. I don't, I don't have a girlfriend. Um, <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, my name's Fitz, hello. Can we just have a big hand for Martin, your compare, please, ladies and gents? <laughs> Wonderful start. Expertly done. Yeah, check's fine, check's fine. Um, <laughs> Uh, I do a bit of comparing myself. I like to, you know, play games with the audience, get them excited. Uh, accidentally asked a woman the other day to spread her clap round the room. <laughs> yes, mortified I was. Though, yes, mortified. Um, basically, as a compare, I really enjoy doing it myself because it's all about getting you guys excited. You guys are having a good night so far, yeah? Yay! Excellent. That's an amazing act. And uh, I did a gig in Plymouth uh, recently. Give us a cheer if you've been to Plymouth. Just cheer if you're really glad you're not in Plymouth. Uh, now the compere in Plymouth forgot that his job was to get the crowd excited, and this is how he introduced me. Uh, well, ladies and gents, the uh, next act goes by one name. A few people in history have done that, haven't they? Elvis, Diana, Hitler. Here's Fitz. <laughs> So I get on stage and I'm like, all right, Plymouth? And the girl sat where you are, Jack, went, are oh, you going to have a go anyway, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, I was open to Plymouth. Uh, sadly, not the worst introduction I've ever had. Um, my, my first ever comedy gig, as you can imagine, I was, I was quite nervous. Idea of comedy quite nervy, Jack, yeah? Picking on you, but my crotch isn't in your face, so you know. <laughs> who's winning? Um, <laughs> and uh, my first ever gig, I was terrified, and I was sat around the back, and the compere went, Right, ladies and gents, this is his first gig. Let's give him lots of love and support. It's Fritzel! <laughs> <laughs> Got many Austrian sex predator fans in the <laughs> No. <laughs> Nor were there in my first gig, although obviously we are in the cellar bar, which is quite appropriate. Um, I'm, I'm filming this, and I'm, someone's going to like screenshot that bit there. Just new profile picture. Um, there are definitely better people to be compared to. I'm sure you'll agree. I uh, I was once compared to a celebrity quite recently, in fact. Before the face, um, there aren't many celebrities with faces like this, and um, I was compared to a celebrity. Any guesses, madam? Brad Pitt? Close. <laughs> it, is, it is close. It is close. Uh, I've had a few actually. Uh, someone once shouted, I look like Gollum. <laughs> pretty fucking horrible if you're talking about that language. Uh, but no, this, uh, this girl very kindly said that uh, I look like Jude Law. Yeah. Oh. So what was that? I'm pretty sure I heard someone just go, Pff. <laughs> As she said that in Plymouth, and uh, as I said, oh, sometimes I look like Jude Law. And one bloke just went, fuck off. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to, I had quite a long time to, to think about my reply to that. So I thought, I'm, I'm going to fight fire with fire. And I thought, whatever, I'm going to ask him what he does. And whatever he says, I'm just going to say, fuck off. So I waited for the laughter to die down. Took a while. I I fucking love that. <laughs> and uh, so I, I waited and the laughter died down. I said, oh, what do you do, mate? And just as he answered, I went, fuck off. He went, Marine. <laughs> Not a group of people you want to annoy, really, the Marines, are they? No, but no, this girl told me I look like Jim Law. She said, hey, you look like Jim Law. If he was really tired. Not really a compliment, is it? No. It's been like having sex with a lady and her saying, I really enjoyed that. I don't really like him big. Anyway. <laughs> 
Um, now, I've, uh, I've stumbled across something recently. Any of you guys on Twitter? Give us a cheer. Yeah. Not many, that's fine. Um, uh, I, I'm on Twitter and I found this thing. I don't know, for those of you that aren't on it, basically it's, it's a really good way of wasting time. And um, occasionally things trend. You might see the little hashtag things. And I saw an amazing trend with, that I had to get involved with the other day. And it was hashtag add up your bum to a film title. Doesn't sound that fun, right? Think of a film. And in fact, I'll tell you a couple. And throughout my set, just feel free to shout them at me. You've got um, Fast and the Furious. Up your bum. Twelve Angry Men. Up your bum. Dirty Dancing. Jaws, Dirty Dancing up your bum, yeah. Jaws up your bum, that's a particularly unpleasant one. Uh, fine. Oh, what was that? Goosefellas. Goosefellas up your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Saw up your bum, that's a good one. Uh, I like it. Dirty uh, cousin up your bum. Alien. Alien. It's amazing, this has just turned into. I'm glad you're recording this. Uh, my my favourite, someone the other day just uh, it was a really. Deep South. Deep South. It's not going to stop, is it? The Magnificent Seven up your bum, right? I've should have done this towards the end of my set. There's no way to go. Uh, they're all coming in now, I'm analyzing. <laughs> they're high fiving, so they're like, yeah, got it, boom. 101 Dalmatians, Jesus. Wow, this has turned into the most weird heckle fest ever, it's amazing. Shitty, <laughs> shitty band <laughs> Took you a while to warm to the idea, I think you fucking love it now. Right? <laughs> I did uh, I did a gig the other day and this beautiful young lady just went really kind of sensitively just went, find you Nemo? <laughs> dear my dear. Um, so, uh, so I've travelled over here from, from Bath today. Do we like Bath? Yeah. Yeah, good. Out of curiosity devices, is it Bath or is it Bath? Bath! Oh. Always splits a room. Always splits a room. Yeah, generally some people, I had a bloke the other day just went, Bath! About half an hour. I, I asked in Plymouth if they thought Bath was posh, and they went, uh, Bath! I've had a bath! <laughs> the eagle has landed! The eagle has landed, we're still doing that, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> you're, the, uh, you're the university challenge man, yeah? Who dares wins? Who dares wins? Yes! Oh, nice. And you're a lady as well. That is, that is, that is good. <laughs> um, well, I, I love living in Bath. And, uh, I, I, do you mean it's posh? Yeah. It's quite posh. It always posh. rains in Bath. Pardon what? It always rains in Bath. It always rains in Bath. That's a northern accent of where are you from? Hull. Hull? Yeah. Proper golf, that, isn't it? Yeah. What brings you here? Apart from comedy. <laughs> Pardon? I'm not saying. You're not saying? Oh wow. Well. That's intriguing of. Uh, I was born in Stockport, will you tell me now? <laughs> Shut front door, he's not as well as it. No. <laughs> Do you know the expression shut the front door? I said that to a girl the other day and she just went, open the back one. <laughs> She wasn't that forthcoming when I tried, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I, I think Bath is, is quite posh. It is quite posh, isn't it? I overheard a man complaining the other day that he pulled his tricep helping the waitrose delivery man. Like that is <laughs> the most middle class injury on it you can ever have. <laughs> it was wonderful, and um, but it's weird because you you get lots of posh people, but also there's a lot of not very posh people. I saw, um, we've got students in Bath, we've got quite a lot of them, and I live right in the centre and I was looking out the window and I saw this, this lad, he was hammered, dragging his basically semi-conscious girlfriend to a bench. Girlfriend in one hand, kebab in the other. And, and he got to the bench and he was trying to be romantic. He was. He was trying to be nice. He was trying to feed her. He was so pissed, he was just going... <laughs> Slavering about all over his girlfriend, it was amazing. 
Um, but as I say, we've got we've got a range of people, posh and, and not so posh. And uh, I saw an advert in Tesco's the other day. You know the customer notice boards? Pikeys put notes up over Pikeys. Buy or steal their shit. Here or there, they can't set, can't they? And I saw an amazing advert that just shows the difference in people. Just said, what was it? That was all cool, wasn't it? I must have probably told this joke about a million times. And it was an advert that said, pony for sale. Looks like small oars. <laughs> I despair, I despair. Uh, but Bath is great. Um, just before I go, did everyone have a nice Christmas? Do you have a nice Christmas, Jack? Get anything cool? Looks like a new jumper, is it Christmas? Uh, it's what, sorry? Primark. Primark? Never heard it called Primark before. Primarni, I've heard. Primarche. It's, it's nice, I like it. Don't know why I'm complimenting a man on his dress, but it's been that kind of geek. Um, I, I had quite a good Christmas. I had a tough year last year, moved house. Spent loads of money, spent on girlfriend, lost loads of money, blah, 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 blah. And um, at Christmas, we've got this weird tradition. Um, I grew up in Devon, and we give each other gifts. We oh, do that here as well. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. And then um, we, we give each other gifts at the table. And my brother got a uh, 50 pound iTunes voucher. Pretty sweet. Yeah. I got a scratch card. However, I won 5,000 pounds, ladies and gents. <laughs> Buzzing, buzzing I was. Didn't know you could get fake scratch cards. Yeah. And I found out you could get fake scratch cards when I read this. Prizes over £100, must be collected in person at the Money Fairy. 123 Nowhere Drive, Make Believe Land. Wonderful. I was going to buy my mum a house. Now she is going to a home. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, you've genuinely been absolutely lovely. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm just going to tell you a joke to go with. Do we like jokes, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Uh, now, this is a joke that my little sister wrote. She's nine years old, so please like it. Otherwise, I'll get blamed for poor delivery. She, she's that kind of girl. Um, the joke is, how do you sell a midget a caravan? Do you want to buy a caravan? <laughs> <laughs> you guys will love me. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your life.